you guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the rigid half-inch four-mode high-torque impact wrench that I just picked up for my suite of tools. So like my other tool videos, this is a rigid video. This is another tool that runs off their 18 volt platform. Once you get into those tools, it, it's, it's like an addiction. It's really hard to stop getting new tools, but I wish I would have picked this guy up a lot sooner because this would have been really helpful in a lot of the suspension and um, control arm products that I did a few videos back, but I have it now. So let's talk through the tool itself. So this is the four mode version. There's also a six mode version. And what that means is there's four different speed selections you can select on the tool. And those are all selectable back by this button on the back of the grip. You got one through three, each speed dictates the maximum RPM you can go to. So speed one goes up to 600 RPM, speed two up to 1300, and then speed three goes up to 1800. Then you have this additional feature called auto, which is your fourth mode here. So auto from a speed perspective still allows you to get up to 1800 RPM. But when you are tightening a bolt down, the second the tool starts to realize or starts to sense that it's impacting, it's gonna shut the tool down so you don't over tighten things. If you are loosening up a nut or loosening up a bolt, the second the tool stops impacting, so it's gonna impact, 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 once it breaks that bolt free or the nut free, it's gonna shut the tool down once impacting stops. So it's a really neat feature. This is a feature that's on a lot of their tools, particularly a lot of their impact tool range stuff. Um, but anyway, it is a half inch truck here. So this is gonna use a lot of the larger sockets on a truck that's super handy from lug nuts, from control arm bolts, ball joints, all the big bolts. This guy is the one to battle or the one to tackle the job. Um, as far as battery, my recommendation from a battery perspective is get the biggest battery for this tool that your budget allows. Um, but with that said, the bigger the battery, the bigger the footprint it takes. And if you're planning on using this tool in kind of a nimble location or you wanna store it away, keep that in mind. I'm running the eight amp hour battery on here, but if you wanna buy the tool as well as a battery alone, you can get it with the four amp hour battery, which is a little bit shorter of a tool or a little bit shorter of a battery and it's a little bit lighter. Amp hour, the eight amp hour with the tool, it's a pretty heavy tool, um, but I'm not here to do any races with it. I'm here to have a functional tool that's got a lot of uh, horsepower behind it. Speaking of specs and torques and whatnot, the breakaway torque, so this is the torque that's required to break a, a bolt that hasn't moved or break it free from a solid or sta static position. So breakaway torque is 1,300 foot pounds, which is plenty for any vehicle you ever plan on working on. You do not need anything more than that out of a tool. As far as tightening torque, so this is the torque that when you're starting to tighten a bolt down, what you can get up to. And again, all of this is with a full charge and there's so many other elements that play into what you can truly get in real life, but specs say 900 foot pounds, which again is plenty on these vehicles. I think um, the control arms are 150 or 170 foot pounds, which is plenty. So this tool would have been able to tackle that job awesomely, but unfortunately I didn't have it at the time. So anyway, this is one of the tools, like I said, is super handy to have. Any sort of automotive work, definitely get yourself a half inch high torque one if you can afford it, uh, impact wrench, because it is gonna be able to tackle a lot of the jobs. Last thing I did wanna say here though, when you are using cordless impacts or really any impacts in general, make sure you're using impact rated sockets. I have seen a lot of folks use chrome sockets, so just your regular hand tool sockets on these things. And if you're lucky, you'll just split it. There's so much torque on these things and those chrome sockets aren't made for that amount of torque, they're gonna end up splitting. If you're not so lucky, I have seen folks try to tighten down lug nuts and whatnot or control arm bolts and those chrome uh, sockets just basically pop and they just explode. They they just self, they catastrophically fail. And that's because there's too much torque here and the half inch truck just get, rips those guys apart. So again, when you are using tools like this, make sure you are using the appropriate sockets. Just, just my one safety tip here is make sure you're using impact rated mm -hmm. sockets on here. I know a lot of times, particularly in my case too, you're gonna get to your wheels and you have spline lug nuts, you gotta use a key there. So just be careful when using keys, those aren't always impact rated, but do make sure that when you are using a socket on any type of tool like this, particularly one that's capable of 1300 foot pounds of torque, that you're using the right rated sockets here. So let's go ahead and get down by a wheel and take a look at how this guy operates. All right, before we get the truck up in the air, I did just wanna show you, torque wrench is set at 130 foot pounds, which is the factory torque spec here. Let's get this guy on my a wheel key and all right so that's just to prove 
that the lug nuts are at 130 foot pounds before I get the truck up in the air. I did want to prove that so that when we go ahead and use the tool, you could truly see how useful it is. All right, so we got the truck up on jack stands here. Let's take our key here. And what I wanted to do here is show you how the auto mode works when you're loosening up a lug nut. So you can see this is our lug nut. They're all 130 foot pounds. So the tool itself right now is in auto mode. So if I get this guy on the lug nut itself on the key and all I need to do is hammer down the trigger and let's see. Yep, it's in loosening mode. So once it's done loosening that lug nut or once it breaks it free, the tool itself should shut off since it's in auto mode. So let's go ahead and hammer the trigger down and see what happens. All right, so you can see I'm still holding down the trigger. Light's still on, that means the tool's still on, but the auto mode kicked in and shut off the tool. So let's pull that guy off there and you can see, there you go, I broke that lug nut free. So. Auto feature is super awesome on these tools, very helpful, particularly when you're loosening lug nuts, but also if you're working on suspension components and you don't want that bolt to come out all the way, particularly ones that are threaded into, let's say a control arm bushing, sometimes they'll shoot out and you don't want them to. All you do, all you wanna do sometimes is just break the nut free so that you can manipulate things as needed. All right, so that is my two cents on the rigid half inch four mode impact wrench. Like I said, there's also a six mode, which is gonna give you some additional speeds. But again, my biggest recommendation here is twofold. One, get the biggest battery your budget allows because you're gonna want that with a tool like this. And also make sure when you're using these high torque impact wrenches that you're using impact compatible sockets. Uh, that's a safety thing. They're not just black to look cool. They're black because they're a different socket. They're made completely different and they can handle the stress from a tool with this much torque. Uh, $250 will get you the tool alone. I think about $320 will get you a tool plus a four amp hour battery and a charger. Hard to beat the deal for the amount of torque that you're getting in one single tool. That's super helpful on your truck. So I'll leave a link down in the description below of the tool uh, at Home Depot, but definitely check it out. Let me know what you think of these tool reviews. I'm looking to add some more to the channel. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.